Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hop. It's outside right now in some pretty nice weather. It's a bit windy, but hopefully it won't be too bad because I'm bringing the mic. Uh, we'll find out once I get to the editing of this video. But today, guys, we're looking at more beer from Sweden, more beer from Steakbergets that made the amazing GBG Beer Week. Uh, and hopefully this is going to be in the same ballpark. This is the Steakbergets American Pale Ale Amarillo Citra on 5.2%. It's a pretty cool label with an anteater on it. <laughs> kind of random, but awesome. And uh, yeah, gotta give a thanks to both Andre and Martin for sharing this one. Uh, Andre sent it over and Martin is sharing it. So in the glass, it pretty much looks like one of the juice bums. There's a lot of yeast gunks on this one though. A lot of yeast gunks, but it's got a similar hazy orange color as the GBG Gear Beer Week. Nice white head. And also I heard that the GBG Beer Week might be discontinued for a little while because they can't get a hold of Nelson Solvin, <laughs> which is crazy. But let's check out the aroma on this bad boy. Oh, that smells pretty nice, but it's much more West Coast. Uh, or it's not as uh, juice bomby, crazy, intense, New Englandy as the other one, but it's still definitely juicy. Definitely like sweet citrus fruits. It's got a little bit of more of a sweet malt and grain profile. A little bit of tropical notes. And it really, really shines through with a lot of citrus flavor. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. That's really nice pale ale though. It's maybe more so in a not as small forward West Coast style or something, because it's got a little bit of dankness and grapefruit piney notes, piney notes, but it's also got some of those juicy flavors. Like nice sweet citrus, nice kind of slight tropical notes from the citra, mainly like, um, well, maybe not as much, maybe more of a melon character, actually. There is some tropical, maybe more melon, actually, which is interesting, because that's usually not what I think when I think citra. But mostly it's the tangerine and it's the sweet oranges and all those kind of sweeter citrus fruity notes. So, yeah, I dig it. Um, really nice pale ale. This is like a 92, 93. It's really nice stuff. It's, it's not as good as the GBG Beer Week, but that also really blew my mind. That was a beer that really gave the Treehouse Trillium beers in the States a run for the money, but this is still really damn good stuff. So yeah, guys, if you get a chance, check out the Steak Baggots American Pale Ale Amarillo Citra. A 93 for me, guys. Good, good stuff. Becoming a fan of these guys, they're making some really consistently good hoppy beer. And this one, guys, was also sent from Andre in Sweden and shared by Martin. So thanks to both of you guys for sharing this with me. So this one is Steak Baggots West Coast IPA on 6.5%. I looked it up on their website and uh, no info on hops or anything. It says it's pretty much uh, easy to get uh, on keg in Jutebor all year round and sometimes in bottles. That's all the info that's on it. <laughs> and uh, we got our friend on the label right over there. <laughs> There's a seagull on the label. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the West Coast seagull. Um, and supposedly this is a West Coast IPA that's juicy. But it looks more like a New England IPA <laughs> in the glass. And I think it's made with wheat malt as well, right? Yeah. Just like the uh, Pale Ale and the uh, GBG Beer Week IPA. So really nice, hazy, orangey, yellow color, white head. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah, that's definitely West Coast though on the aroma. That's that really intense dank aroma. Also very green, that green hop matter. A little bit of pine, lots of grapefruit, lots of grapefruit and pine, but really intense on that kind of green, almost minty. Yeah, minty peppery spearmint maybe, or basil. It's got a very green hop matter thing going. Smells really nice though. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Okay, it's West Coast with New England mouthfeel for sure. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is, it's got like West Coast dank tank notes, but the aftertaste is juice bomb. <laughs> wow. If you love West Coast IPA bitter dank tanks and you love the New England style too, this is like best of both worlds. This is kind of like the two combined. Because you're getting a lot of juicy, almost like citra mosaic hop flavor on there. Uh, a lot of juicy tropical notes, but you're also getting a lot of pine. You're also getting that grapefruit dankness, that evergreen. It's not got as much of that green hop matter, spicy, you know, minty, peppery, uh, basil-like flavor on the fl actual flavor. It was more on the aroma. There is some though. 
<clears throat> the more I'm digging this, the more I'm liking it. A little bit of sweetness from the wheat, very nice creamy mouthfeel. It's kind of like the GBG Beer Week, uh, just not as crazy intense juicy. So it's kind of like they took that almost, or it's like that, but just with more of a West Coast influence. Because you get that kind of big kick of bitterness and that huge dank, uh, intense dank flavor. A nice bitterness on the aftertaste. Nice medium silky body. This is damn good. This is probably better than some of the West Coast IPAs brewed in the States, to be honest. This is like, I'd 10 times rather drink this than the Stone IPA that was just released in cans in Europe. Wow, this is great. The more sips I take of this, the more I dig it. Again, it's not as good as GBG Beer Week, but it's damn awesome. Uh, let's go a 95 on this one. As I said, it is New England meets uh, West Coast. And I still love the West Coast juice, or the West Coast IPA. And it's just such, like, it's got such great harmony between both of those styles of IPA. Awesome stuff. This is one of my new favorite breweries in Sweden. Three beers I've had from them so far, all of them have been over 90. They're fucking great. They're uh, one of the new killer people in the IPA game, so definitely check out the Steak Bag. It's West Coast IPA too, if you get a chance. This is awesome, awesome stuff. 95 from me, guys. Check it out, and uh, yeah. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and uh, yeah, give us a like and a comment, and I'm gonna say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.